Hi, it's Fantastic Day in Cota de Casa, and today we're going to look at the differences between butterflies and moths. And this here is our butterfly bush. This is Budlia davidii. And here we find a lot of our painted ladies and our monarch butterflies. And they love the flowers from this little butterfly bush. And over here, in our autumn sage, Salvia gregii, we can usually find a very little pink pyrousta moth. All right, so what's the difference between these butterflies and moths? Well, first of all, they are both insects and they belong to the order Lepidoptera, but butterflies are monophyletic, which means they all share a common ancestor. On the other hand, moths are polyphyletic, which means they come from many different ancestors. And moths evolved a long time before butterflies, and there are fossils of moths dating over 190 million years ago. There are also at least 160,000 different species of moths. And there are physical differences. Moths are stout, stockier, fuzzy, and furry, like this sphinx moth. And butterflies are slender, lean, and smooth. And one of the world's smallest butterflies is the Western Pygmy Blue, who lives here in Cota de Casa. So moths are also typically dull and bland in color, except the Madagascan Sunset Moth, who of course is super colorful. Butterflies are more colorful than moths, and they sport lots of fancy patterns on their wings. And their antenna, or antennae, butterflies antennae, are thin with club shaped tips. They tend to be rather long and bare and they have a little bulb at the end. And moth antennae are feathery and they have this leaf or feather like appearance. Except a zodiac moth who has a slender antenna but they tend to be straight instead of curved. And for their wings they both have two front wings and two hind wings. Now moths they have a wing structure called a frenulum which joins the front wing with the hind wing. And this ensures the wings travel together when in flight. Now butterflies have independent wings, which are not connected. Now finally is their eyes. Butterflies have what is called opposition eyes, which are built for the daytime. It allows them to process multiple high quality images. And moths have superposition eyes, which are built for nighttime. It allows them to see 1,000 times brighter than butterflies but it only gives them a low quality image. So for their behavioral differences, butterflies are diurnal and they're active during the day. Moths are nocturnal and they're active at night, except for the Madagascan sunset moth, who's active during the day. And when they're at rest, butterflies usually fold their wings back or vertically. However, they also sunbake with their wings open to the sun to warm up their bodies and keep them energized in case they need to take off during an emergency. Now moths, they flatten their wings open or they spread them out like an airplane. So while growing up during the pupil stage between larvae and adulthood, the butterflies form chrysalises, which are hard, smooth, and silkless, except for the Parnassus butterfly who makes a cocoon. In moths, they make cocoons wrapped in silk coverings except the gypsy moth who makes a cocoon which resembles a butterfly's. Well, there you go. That's the difference between our uh, butterflies and our moths. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day, bye.